On this episode of Loyal TV, we bring you to Guthrie, Oklahoma, where the women of high society were busy crafting the state's most treasured symbol of patriotism. You know, these are extremely symbolic acts, and they basically bring Oklahoma into the creation story of the United States. And here we are after this event, the equal partners of all the states that come before us and all the states that will come after us. So yeah, it's a big, big deal. Well, the building we're in is the Carnegie Library. The room behind me is the women's meeting room, and that's where the sewing of the flag took place. The flag was created by the, the Betsy Ross Association, which was a group of women. They came together here in the Carnegie Library to stitch together this, this first official flag for the state of Oklahoma. If you were had any type of social standing whatsoever, you would have been a part of sewing this flag. It was made up of, of prominent women. I think there was about 150 in total that participated in it, and 92 of them actually sewed stars onto the flag, you know, because both sides of the flag will have 46 individual stars. So Oklahoma becomes a state November 16, 1907. But our flag here that has a star on it that says Oklahoma, July 4th, 1908. What a lot of people don't realize is that there's a law as to when you can add stars to the flag. It's confusing to people because they're like, oh, well, Oklahoma became a state in 1907. Well, this is why. We don't add stars until July the 4th following statehood. What's going on here in Oklahoma is also going on in Philadelphia. They're sewing together a flag in Betsy Ross's house that's going to be a gift to the state of Oklahoma because the intention was is to get these flags done with all of the different communities to raise their 46 star flag at the same time. The flag that we have was sewn here in the Carnegie Library in 1908 and then taken to Philadelphia where it was flown above Independence Hall. Um, it stayed there in Philadelphia until 1989 when the National Park Service returned it to the state of Oklahoma or the Oklahoma Historical Society, at which point we put it on display here in commemoration of the land run of, of 1889, so the 100th anniversary of that. When you're a territory, all of your decisions are made for you. But with statehood, the people have a choice in who represents them and, and who does the jobs that, that need to be done. With the creation of this flag and the taking it to Philadelphia and sewing on the star in Betsy Ross's house and taking it to the flagpole at Independence Hall, where the Declaration of Independence was signed, and raising it above that. This is an extremely patriotic event. This is a one-of-a-kind flag. There's nothing else like this. The 46-star flag is our flag. It doesn't belong to anybody but us. It's just our flag. Since then, the flag has added four more stars but Oklahoma will always cherish its special day of recognition. Join us again next week here on Loyal TV.